Once, self-driving vehicles were pictured only in science fiction. Today, they're very much a reality, and research conducted right here in Greater Philadelphia is shaping the future of travel. The University of Delaware Scaled Smart City is a 1 to 25 scale test bed where we test traffic interactions and congestion in a city network. We also look at problems that involve vehicles and drones working together. In the Information Decision Science Laboratory, engineering students are preparing for a future where human-driven and autonomous vehicles share the road. Eventually, what we want to end up having is a big transportation network without stop-and-go driving, with smooth traffic flow, where everybody can go from point A to point B without having to come to a full stop whatsoever. By eliminating these traffic issues, connected and automated vehicles, known as CAVs, could radically transform society. Energy efficient cities, environmentally friendly cities, and improving quality of life for, for travelers. So that's the ultimate goal. The research begins in a simulation lab, where the team develops control algorithms and then evaluates the effectiveness of their ideas. We can model any city in the world. Once they're on the right track, they move the findings upstairs to the scaled smart city. There's a lot of dynamics that happen in a physical experiment that you can't capture as well in a simulation. Everything in this mini city was designed and built in-house, even the cars. This gives us the ability to customize them for the needs of the lab. If a problem comes up with a car, then we can quickly and easily diagnose that problem since we manufactured it. Wands and sensors are used to calibrate the system. Then it's time to hit the road with one student playing the part of human driver, while the automated vehicles and drones are set into motion using the algorithms developed in the simulation lab. When you have mixed traffic, the drones can actually be used to gather information about the human-driven vehicles and pass it to the automated vehicles. The data collected is then used for hardware development and testing in a full-size real-world vehicle. And with this cycle, we eventually have to come back again to some corrections uh, start all over again. So this is the whole cycle. While it may be years before we see fully autonomous vehicles cruising around Greater Philadelphia, the collaboration of university labs and research organizations on this project, led by the University of Delaware, serves a more immediate and important purpose. The ultimate goal for us here is to train the new generation of engineers in these frontier technologies and cutting-edge technologies that can help advance these technologies into, into the real world. Coming